Joe Biden even said, I'll give illegal immigrants coming across the border $400,000 a piece. Can you imagine if they were to go to that black single mother living in the hood, not even $400,000, offer $4,000, because I know some black women that can make something jump with $4,000, offer her $40,000. You know why they'll never give us that? Because they know that we'll never need them again. And it's, it's, it's sad because it's a vicious cycle. It's, it really is yeah. a vicious cycle because it's like they is they disincentivize you to not want to do to well. Not, no, to not to, want that man in the house. Exactly. And to actually for to in terms of marriage, because it's like, OK, if you get married, then you know, you're no longer eligible for these benefits. So it's like, OK, as long as you stay single and got all these kids out of wedlock, you oh, get, yeah, you get all we, can, we can give you all the benefits in the world. Next, yeah. uh, next video. video. So, video number five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there. Hey, a place to hang. Dependent welfare for Black Americans explained in under two minutes. Peanut. Hey, let's kick it off. Y'all can have fun, and I can't. No, no. <laughs> no. <It's your> <laughs> oh. Let's go. They don't got abortion clinics at the border. They, they're telling us as American women, specifically black American women, we need to abort our children. But if you coming across the border with your baby, oh, come to the land of milk and honey, the great land of opportunity. We'll take care of you. Joe Biden even said, I'll give illegal immigrants coming across the border $400,000 a piece. Can you imagine if they were to go to that black single mother living in the hood, not even $400,000, offer four thousand because i know some black women that can make something jump with four thousand offer her forty thousand you know why they'll never give us that because they know that we'll never need them again welfare reminds me of, of an old man i used to date i was in a relationship with him for 11 years he would never marry me right but whenever my bills were due i would tell him he would give me just enough he had a whole lot of money he would give me just enough rent due Twelve hundred dollars. He give me twelve hundred dollars, not one cent over, because he knew that every month the rent was due that I would have to come back to him. He wouldn't give me a hundred thousand dollars and say, "Here, baby, bump that, go buy you a house and start you a business," because then he felt like I wouldn't need him. The government system is the same way when it comes to Black Americans. They'll never give us enough to get over and get up. It's only enough to make sure we continue to come back every thirty days so that we can remain slaves to their system. Speak, sister, speak. Uh, you know what? It, I'm telling you, the American government have been pulling the wool, the wool <laughs> over our sister's eyes for years. And it's, it's, it's sad because it's a vicious cycle. It's, it really is yeah. a vicious cycle because it's like they is they disincentivize you to not want to do to well. Not, no, to not want to, that man in the house. Exactly. And to actually for it to. In terms of marriage, because it's like, OK, if you get married, then you know, you're no longer eligible for these benefits. So it's like, OK, as long as you stay single and got all these kids out of wedlock, you oh, get, yeah, you get all we, can, we can give you all the benefits in the world. But the minute you start elevating yourself and your education and your career, then it's like, oh, OK, well, you know what? You know, you make too much. Yeah. Boy, you know what? Let me where, where my claps at, boy. Let me let me give it to you. Right let me get it right there. Let me get it right there. Ahead, bro. I mean, at the at the end of the day, that's why it's called the system. It's done purposely to make sure that what we just talked about before, community, family, household, all of those things are what? Unity. They know that if we get back to unity and start at again the foundational level, right. which is the family, they know that that creates strength. You have strength in numbers. They know that if they keep them uh fragmented that happens i was listening to a podcast and this guy said his friend had got a job where she was going to make like sixty five thousand, but she was on uh public housing and they were giving her like money and it only equated to like thirty thousand a year mm, which like is not si besides the housing yeah and she was like um she was like well, what should i do and she was like the majority of the people and she reached out to told her, man, you better not go get that job. You better keep that 30,000 they give you with the housing and but it's a yeah, mindset. Exactly. It's because you got to gotta you, think about it. It keeps you complacent. Right. You'll because never, you got to think about it. They tell you, OK, the poverty level. 
why does it have to be considered the poverty level so therefore they're already telling you you're considered poverty that's the only way they look at you is is a person that's in poverty why does quote unquote the black people have to be in poverty well let's mm -hmm. let's hold on before we you know go too far i just want to mention that i think it's like 84 percent of all welfare recipients are caucasian so yeah that's true that's we true. don't want to make it seem like black people <clears throat> overload the system no no i'm not saying you no know, i'm just saying like just so our viewers don't get it twisted we might see black they people just on don't, there. They, they don't just make that. They don't the make numbers. that publicized. Exactly. Gonna, yeah, it's kind of like they the whole don't. black on black crime thing. Oh, black on black crime. They'll sit there who's and publicize. Killing the, who's killing the white people then? Right. White people. So they'll sit there and publicize the that you know the blacks are killing the blacks. But hold up, what's the percentage of the whites killing the whites? So like again, she was making. She made very valid points. Yeah. Right. But it's just that again, I always use this this phrase. How do you know mediocre is mediocre if all you've ever experienced is mediocre? If my great grandmama was in the projects and my grandmama was in the projects and my mama's in the projects, why would I think that the projects ain't cool? Because guess what? Everybody that I look around when I look to my left is in the projects. She in the projects. Right. Look to my right. <laughs> she in the projects. We all in the projects. So why would I think that that was not the thing? And that's what it is. Well, you don't know, you don't know. So I always tell people, yeah, take your kids, start with your kids, take them out different places. Let's get their minds active to see different things so that they expand themselves. And that's that's why it's called exposure. Our, yeah, that's why our but neighborhoods also at are the, the same way they are. time, the, the 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 parents have to get out of that mindset and say, okay, you know what? I deserve more. Not only do I deserve more, my kids deserve more. Like. Give them an option. That's where it starts. That, because we are Teach incentivized them. to be single parent households. The minute you try to build a family, oh, well, you know what? You can't get these right. type of services. You can't get this type of services. You know, when, when I was young and I ain't so lie, when, I was when and where does the cycle stop? You got to stop. When, when you got to stop with yourself because the system isn't going to help you. Yeah. You no one's going to help you except you, uh, except when you help mm -hmm. yourself. You know what I mean? That means you got to got to get your butt out there. You got to get to work. Right. And you got to be accountable for your decisions. Like you make a decision, you got to stand on it. So and then stop making the same bad decision. If you make learn one bad from decision, your mistakes, learn from your mistake. Again, they say <clears throat> a smart person learns them from their mistakes. A wise person learns from the mistakes of others. All right. I see Ray Ray and them over there doing nothing. I should see Shaquita and over them. Then she got 52 babies, 52 well, I got, baby well, I mamas. Gotta be Shaquita. I was just well, I gotta, well, I gotta be Shaquita. You know Shaquita? Do you know anybody named Shaquita? No, I don't know nobody right. named Shaquita. So that's why I use Because it's Shaquita. I know it's Shaniqua. And that's why I ain't say Shaniqua, because I do know it's Shaniqua. I don't want yeah, her to come me. Shaniqua! <laughs> Get off welfare! <laughs> Oh Lord! Do something with yourself, <laughs> God damn it! Sitting on the, the couch, phone calls you ain't doing nothing. Gonna get after this. <laughs> They're gonna be cursing your yeah. ass. God damn it! Stop having those babies. Yeah, I mean, do something. Do something with yourself. Do something. You sitting on the couch? You ain't doing nothing. Sign up for Emerson College. <laughs> God damn! But you know, listen. So man, first of I, all, what's wrong with having the babies? Like a person can have babies and they can still take care of the children. So what the babies got no, to do? No, hold them? up. But you cannot be having. Five or six different babies. All right, and you so can't you have take to, care you have to explain that part because you're saying stop I'm having the babies. Then. I'm, I'm so then explain I'm the saying, part of the. Here it is. Can I, if you're having trouble taking care of one child, why would you want to go and have a second? Let's, child? let's back it up. Okay, okay. Okay. Why, okay. why? Why? I mean, that's common let's sense. Let's take it back some. If you that's can't take sense. care of your own goddamn self, why would you why? have a oh, kid? There it is. Well, most okay. people can barely take care of themselves. But then who's to say that once you have that child, that might push you? And I'm. Just speaking for myself. I mean, no, I had my first at seventeen. Well, I had just turned eighteen. First of all, you were I, young. I was you young. Were young, and then I had my second. I was twenty-one. I had just turned. So wait, 22. so did, did you do any better when you had your second? I had, I did better with every single one of them. Uh, how, how many you got now? Four. Oh, that shit loose. Oh, <laughs> damn. First of all, <laughs> ain't shit loose over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Look, no, but I have, I have. But let me say this: I have eight walls. It's called. Whoa, 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 Lord! Okay, oh, you're Lord. trying to get out. Where's the beat not button? Four. Where's whoa, the beat whoa, whoa, button? Whoa. <laughs> okay. We're trying to stay on YouTube. But let me say this: Let me say this. Were you ever dependent upon the system? That's one thing I would. Stop. Well, it, it doesn't matter how many children you have because you was never dependent upon the system. If you were your first child and you depend upon the system. You should not be having a second child. 
You should not because by one, you're bringing child, I, your second child. By my second child, I was buying my house. You are ex- an exception to the rule. You're an outlier. We talk you're about an outlier. the majority yeah, you, of people. If, you just happen to be one of the, the yeah, great ones. If, the if, majority if, of the people, they are struggling. If, if you have the ability yeah, to take care mindset. of your children, then you can have as many children as you want. But it's not It's not, It's not. not really a mindset. It, it's a whole bunch of different factors. It's a, yeah, it definitely is. Number one, the biggest, the biggest factor to me, in my opinion, is support. If you don't have support, if it's just you and if the father is there or not, if it's just y'all two, there's no way in the world that you can, you know, it's hard to better yourself and go to school and do this and do that and, and try to make it better when you got a kid. And I didn't have those. You're, you are the, the ex- ex- outlier. So what women out there, don't don't let that be an excuse just because no, the don't, don't not let it not be an excuse, but don't put yourself in a situation don't, to you, make yourself be in a place where it makes it harder. Don't make it harder yeah. on yourself. I mean, listen, I'm not now. saying don't have kids. And this is for men, too. Don't for make me, it harder on yourself. I like that, being a nice that, little child. Strap up. Pointless. Ah, that was a problem because that all that did. But wait, push, but, but wait, that, all that wait did was push me even further. Like, oh, okay, you know what? You want to be an asshole? All right, here, right here, I so go. So let me ask next you to, to the next level. So let me ask you a question. Out of just say twenty women that you know mm-hmm. that are similar to your situation, how many? So, of them what, are, what situation? You, know, you had the kids and you got better and things got you know. Yeah. Better. Okay. Yeah. Out of twenty women, how many okay. of them are like you? I can I can guarantee you can't say five. Oh yeah, roughly about four or five. Exactly. So that's what? Five out of twenty is one fourth. That's twenty five percent of the people will be in your situation. That mm-hmm. makes them the minority. So that shows just by the numbers that that's not something that you should do. Because if somebody gave you a, a a car and said, Hey, um, yeah, this joint only gonna work twenty five percent of the time, you would be like, mm, yeah, I ain't getting that car. <laughs> right. So <laughs> that's a lemon. <laughs> So it just it, the numbers show that it just does not mm-hmm. make sense to put yourself in that situation. You just happen to be a person who, you know, again, my, my cousin had my little cousin at 14. She's now a nurse practitioner and she owns three uh, wellness locations. She is an anomaly when most of the people that are like her would never be her. They will never reach the, yeah. the heights that she's reaching. So. Again, we don't want to look at the outliers. We want to look at the majority. What's happening to the majority of the people? The majority of the people on the other end of the spectrum. Don't put yourself in those situations and make it harder on yourself. And again, you had a baby yep. at 17. Yep. That's cool. That yep. that that was a mistake. It, it might have been different things. But don't keep continuing the same cycle and then say, and this is not you, I'm just saying in general. But who's teaching them that this is wrong? So if you're telling them don't keep going down the same cycle, how do they know if they're not being educated that this is not the right choice? At 17. Supports. I believe it's supports. They don't have those supports. At 17. Cool. Once you have the first child and you see, because you can't tell me you have the first child and life was just easy. You see the struggle it is to yeah. take care. How, why would you go back? <laughs> why, oh, oh, yeah, this is easy. This is not. This is hard. Oh, my God. Let me do Let it me again. Let me do it again. <laughs> the hell? Let me do it again. Why would that make sense? Yeah. And so, again, I'm just saying experience. What, what the, what's this? Well, who sings that song? She says experience is a good teacher. That's the teacher. Okay, this is not easy. I'm pretty sure if you got a master's degree, most people guess what they do. They don't go back and get a second one. Ooh, that was hard. I, I, ooh, I ain't doing that. I passed. Do that again. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Listen, I said I'm gonna go back to school, but I ain't going back to school to get my master's. Nah. Um, this your own podcast, man. Yeah. That's what we do. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Let's get a like, drop a comment. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we talk that ish.